What's up guys, your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be going over um, some of the cat shop units because uh, as you know with this update we got a third week of them. Now um, the first week of cat shop units they were not good, you, you, didn't, you didn't need to buy those. So like you really have nothing to worry about as far as the first week goes. But now we're on to the second and third week for JP and um, Global is getting the third week next update. So I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you have the first week now, but the, the first week doesn't matter, right? They're just not good, right? So, anyways, going to the Granny Cat Shop, right? We have the OG, um, like, this second, this is week two, week two, right? Uh, you know, Kadeen, Edo, Tobirama, Yag uh, Yugito, excuse me, Yagura, Chojuro, Sakura. Well, no, Sakura's with the next week. So anyways, um, I told y'all that Yagura was the best unit to get in the shop, bar none, and that still stands. But, now we're going to get into some of the other picks since we have a new week. So uh, we have Sakura, Jugo, Takasasuke, um, Skillgara, and Biju Mode Naruto. So, uh, let's just start from the top. Biju Mode Naruto is actually pretty good. Um, his dupe abilities give him attack boost and stuff like that. Uh, it, the only problem is it gives damage reduction to skill, which he's a hard unit, so he already has it. Now, the good thing about him is his buddy skill is 15% damage reduction to body. Now, I, I wouldn't recommend picking him on a buddy skill alone. Uh, he does pretty good damage. Uh, he actually got a limit break that gives him, like, he does good damage now and stuff like that. Um, honestly, I wouldn't recommend him unless you have, like, no heart units, then maybe. Uh, going on to Gara, I wouldn't recommend this Gara, and the reason why I wouldn't is because, yes, he has 40% damage reduction to heart, but, um, as you guys remember with these past couple of weeks, we got the skill Ambu Kakashi. Now, the skill Ambu Kakashi, he, um, has damage reduction to heart by 30%, and his, uh, buddy skill is 25% damage reduction. So, if you rock two of these, if you farm two of these, he has a 55% damage reduction. Not to mention, he's free, right? He's free, whereas Gara, you need dupes to get his, right? So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend this Gara. I mean, you could get him if you want. He does have a mobilization on his first Jutsu. I think he has it on his ult, but I don't know. So, I mean, you could get him, but it's not really worth it, simply because that Sasuke did come out. Same thing with Week 1 KCM Naruto. It's not worth it because we have the Anbu Kakashi now. Uh, Takasasuke is not that good. All his abilities are crit. Um, he, he has really high damage, but he's not out damaging a lot of the body units that are out today. So there's no reason to go for him. Uh, Jugo, guys, look, I know, I, look, before I get into it, I know some people are going to say, Oh, Darkskin, you only said Jugo because he's a body. Shut up. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it because he's a body unit. If you listen, I'll tell you why. To get to get Jugo, Jugo is Juko. Jugo is debatably the second best unit in the Granny Cat Shop right now, and I'm gonna tell you why. Right. So, uh, besides the fact that Jugo is long range, right here. Let me just go to him so I can give you like the. Where's that? There it is. All right. So Jugo is long range, 1500 attack stat. Right. 1400 HP. 48 chakra. 6.7 times multiplier, and he gets four, he gets 1500 HP back every time he jutsus. All right, that's that's number one. On top of his field skill is 150 to 200 HP a turn. His buddy skill is 180 attack a turn, I believe. Um, I think. Um, and then his his dupe abilities. He gets a 30% chance to use no chakra on jutsu, which is really good because you can spam heal. You can continuously use your first jutsu to heal. On top of, he has 300, I mean 250, excuse me, healing a turn. And then his last dupe is 20% damage reduction. Meanwhile, he's 4-8 chakra, by the way. Like, guys, this dude is actually crazy. Like, and then on his ult, he heals for 12% of the damage he does. Like, this Jugo is a healing monster. He has field healing. He has sync skill healing. He has ability healing. He has jutsu healing. He has ultimate jutsu healing. And if you get max dupes, he goes to 28 cost. 
This Jugo is insane. I know a lot of people are gonna, like I said, people are gonna say, oh, he's a body unit. But it's like, dude, you're getting so much healing and he's a 28 unit, like 28 cost unit. Like that's just really, really good, right? So, um, I mean, honestly, y'all can do what you want, but I'm telling y'all right now, Jugo, forget he's a body unit. The fact that he goes to 28 cost in itself is enough. The fact that he heals that much is enough. He can go on any team. He doesn't even need to be on a body team. Like, Jugo is insane. Now, going back to the cranny, cranny shop, the granny cat shop, I wouldn't really recommend it, but the Sakura, uh, on my global account, I have three Sakuras on my wisdom team. The reason why is because she heals 200 a turn, 6 star. It's 150 now, but it's 200 whenever she's 6 star. So I'm healing 600 a turn with three Sakuras, right? Um, as you guys know, body, body, wisdom doesn't have that many healers, so I'm rocking three Sakuras. Now, I need to take one of those Sakuras off because I do have Hagoromo, right? So, um, if you guys want to, I would recommend getting one Sakura just so you can, you know, get some healing going. Not to mention when you ult, she, um, heals back like, what, 1500 damage or something like that, so that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, if you reckon like a Homer, Hagoromo, her, and then like a, a Wisdom Madara, because Wisdom Madara heals 100 a turn, you should be okay for the most part. But uh, yeah, so it still stands. I say get Yagura Max Dupe first if possible. Some people were like, Dark Skin, I don't have that many coins. I can't get a Max Dupe. I'm saying like if possible, dog. But even without it, right? The top two is Yagura and Jugo. Because Yagura without dupes still does stupid damage and negates type disadvantage to skill units, right? Uh, Jugo without dupes still heals on his Jutsu, on his ult, and his field and sync skills. So it's like you don't even need dupes, but dupes would be nice. So first place goes to Yagura, second would be Jugo, and then debatably Sakura. Outside of that, I don't know what you would do. Uh, yeah. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below, tell us you guys in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.